How to adjust the transition duration length in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now that's a very common question that I get a lot. And to reference that, <laughs> I thought I'd create a tutorial about it. So here's two clips that are connected with a cross dissolve. Let me undo this. And I'm using the shortcut control or command D to apply the default transition. And you set the default transition length, not in sequence and not in file, but under edit, preferences and timeline. And here you will see these settings here, video transition default duration. That's the one that you should set. However, one thing that you should keep in mind is that it's per default, it's set to frames. And that's important because let me go back for a second. When we go to the sequence settings, this sequence has a time base of 100 frames per second. So 30 frames per second is actually very short, okay? So if you wanna make sure it's, it's a certain length in terms of time and seconds, then you have to go in, go to edit, preferences, timeline, and set this to seconds, okay? Set the unit to seconds. So you make sure it's a certain time-based length. So this is something that is pretty confusing for some beginners because they would assume it's in seconds, and then they don't really know, they're not aware of the time base of their sequence. It's kind of irritating. If you really wanna make sure, go to edit, preferences, timeline, set this to seconds here, and then maybe set it to two. In the same settings, of course, you would set the audio transition default duration here. For some reason, it's set to one seconds per default, which makes sense. The video transition default duration is set to frames. Here you would change that setting and then you can change the time to two seconds or whatever. And when we now set the default transition across all tracks with Control or Command D, these transitions are way longer. And in this particular case, these longer transitions would make more sense. And of course it would be tedious to apply them one by one to the tracks, set the appropriate length, so this way you will have more control over what this looks like and what is being applied to this particular edit. But that's how you would set the default transition. So this is how to set the default video transition duration in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you like this tutorial, please consider hitting the like button to help me promote my tutorials. And other than that, I will see you in the next tutorial.